What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again with another Odroid Go Advanced video and today we're going to be testing out some Dreamcast emulation on this little handheld. Now before we get started I do want to mention that it's pretty early for Dreamcast to be running on the Go Advanced. Nothing has been optimized specifically for this device or the chip in the core that I'm using here, which is Flycast inside of RetroArch. But I gotta say, performance here is much better than I ever thought it would be on the Go Advance using RetroArch with the Flycast core. I got a good feeling that in time we will have full speed Dreamcast emulation on the Go Advance. So in this video I'm going to be testing out about 10 or 11 games and for the operating system I'm actually using EMU Elect. This is the first time I've ever messed around with it. This is their early release available over on the Odroid forums. I'll leave a link for it in the description. And you install it just like you would any other operating system to the Odroid Go Advance. So as you can see, we have enough buttons for Dreamcast games on the Go Advance, but in this video I'm going to be using an external controller just so I can set the unit stationary and it's just easier to record the screen on this thing. I'm going to be using the Flydigi Apex. It comes with this little 2.4 GHz dongle and it does work with the Odroid Go Advance, the Raspberry Pi, your Android device, or even your PC. But keep in mind, the Go Advance does have enough buttons for Dreamcast emulation. We're not going to be lacking anything here if you just want to use it in handheld mode. So with all that out of the way, let's get into some testing. Remember, I'm using the Flycast Core with RetroArch, and I will have the name of the game listed on screen at any given time so you know what's playing. So here we have Mortal Kombat Gold. It's actually running really well. With the rest of these games, I'm just going to let it play out, and you guys let me know what you think in the comments. But keep in mind, this is still early for Dreamcast on the Go Advance, and hopefully the developers over at Flycast can get their hands on a Go Advance soon so they can add some chip-specific fixes or optimizations for the Go Advance and this emulator. That would be absolutely amazing, because as it sits right now, like I mentioned, none of these games are running at a complete full speed, but a lot of them are playing pretty decently for being such a low-end handheld device.
So that's it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching, I was super excited to see it running this well on the Go Advance. Now it's definitely not perfect, none of these games were running at a complete 60 FPS, but it's still very promising to see them running like this pretty much right out of the box on beta software. I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this, and as soon as performance is increased in the Dreamcast emulator for the Go Advance, I will do another follow up video on this. But that's it for this one, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but like always. Thanks for watching.